going to work your body head to toe with a full body high intensity interval training workout. You'll be done in 16 minutes. It's going to go by super fast. I am outside today. It's a little bit loud, but I'm going to project my voice as part of my own personal challenge to make this workout all it can be for you and for me. I'm so excited to do this workout with you. You don't need much today. Um, the box I have down here is optional. Uh, it's only if you want to modify some of the moves where you'll be on your hands, so be next to your couch or have a chair if you want that elevated surface. I do have a couple of water bottles and weights, as you can see. We're going to add a little resistance, so maybe go ahead and grab a weighted object in your house if you're at home today, or if you're at the gym, you can do this workout with a couple of dumbbells. So again, get excited. We're going to work that body head to toe. We're going to start out with a full body warm-up move that I absolutely love. I've been doing it a lot lately and I wanted to bring it back for you. It's a slow burpee with a little bit of an extra challenge. So go ahead and do it with me. Go ahead and stand with your feet a little wider than hip distance on your mat. Engage your core. Bring your head up. And just find your feet right now. Find that balance in both of your feet. We're going to start out by shooting our hips back, planting our hands down right below our shoulders, and we're going to step it back to a tall plank. Step it forward, feet go to the outside of your hands, power up, drive your knees across your body. So you're getting a little bonus core. Let's work through this now. You're gonna come up, cross body mountain climber. Down, not really a mountain climber, it's a standing mountain climber, but you're doing a cross body with your knees. Love that combo, down, back, and up. Last one, great job. Okay, we're going to take a quick breather and we're going to get ready for our next move. I'm going to up the intensity. There's going to be some jumping. It's a combo move, a sumo squat jump with a, with a split squat jump. So to break it down, we're going to do this. We're going to do a squat jump and you're going to come right up and into a split squat jump. If that feels like a lot, do a squat and then do a step back and a step back into a alternating reverse lunge just like this. If you're ready for the intensity, you can add the jump squat combo. Just really work on keeping your chest lifted as you move through this. I want those knees tracking in line with your toes. I'm feeling the burn. Last one. Woo! All right. We're going to slow it down now and get some back body working, some biceps working. So grab your water bottles or weighted objects, whatever you've got. Hold them at your sides. Engage between your shoulder blades. Put your toes together, feet together. Come down into a chair sit. We're going to bring our hands up close to our sides and we're going to kick our arms back. Tricep kick back. Come to standing. Bicep curl. Come down. Tricep kick back. Come up. Bicep curl. It actually works better when your elbows are bent to get the full range of motion out of that tricep kick back. So try this. Kick it back. Bicep curl. Down. Tricep kick back. Up. Bicep curl. Give me one more. Kick it back. And up. And curl. Great job. Come on down onto the mat. We're going to do a little core sequence now. So I'm going to extend my body fully all the way onto my mat. Arms come up overhead. I'm going to fully roll up to reach for my toes. And as I come back, I'm going to lift my legs and give a little hip raise. Before my feet are all the way fully on the ground, I'm going to come back up again. A couple things to keep in mind here as you're working through this roll up to leg lift combo is that you want to make sure that you've got good core engagement here so that you don't hurt your back at all and that your lower back is really making contact with the mat. Last one. Up and reach. Now let's go ahead, come into sort of a cross-legged position. And this is just to flip ourselves over onto all fours and we're gonna do a set of mountain climbers. So come into your tall plank here, hold your core in nice and strong, and we're gonna run those knees for 30 seconds. This is the time, like I said, if your wrists bother you at all to do this, elevate it. So to just put your hands up on the side of your couch. This is a great way to build up strength to do the full mountain climber down on the ground. Keep that core in nice and strong, Gaze is about six inches in front of you. Don't compromise your spine. Last one. Great job. Woo! All right. <laughs> Doing amazing. All right, we're going to stay down on our mat, and we're going to go into a set of superwoman lifts. These are great for your 
posterior chain, for your back body, for those paraspinal muscles, and we're just going to lift and lower. Lift and lower. Lift, lower. Beautiful work, come on. Lift your feet and your arms. It's not a huge lift. If you'd like to add a little additional challenge for your back, you can go ahead and draw your elbows in close to your sides. Each time you lift up, let your feet kind of come out naturally on this, this first set. The closer in you bring your feet, the more challenging it will be to lift. Last one. Woo! Great job. Okay, we're gonna end our first round with a set of crescent kicks. These are fun kickboxing moves. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna stand up and we're gonna be throwing a leg up and in a circle, right? So it's just a kick, kick. So get your arms up by your face like you're fighting. I'm falling, here we go. Kick and kick. And I'm adding a little bounce in the middle because it just feels good. A great way to modify this is to throw a knee, just side to side knee. And really just imagine you've got a marker at the bottom of your toe and you're just drawing a circle on the wall in front of you, okay? Great job. You're so close, five. Four, three, two, last one. Woo! Amazing work. Okay, you just made it through round one. You've got two more rounds of that to do. So, how are you feeling? Check in with yourself. Give yourself a little body scan to see how you're feeling. Does anything feel funny? Does anything hurt? Maybe pause the video. Give yourself a couple quick chest stretches if you're feeling tight in your chest or your back. Maybe you want to take a few minutes to just swing your leg around. Just really be in your body, pay attention to how you're feeling. And we're gonna start this again. So here we go. Slow burpees with the cross, cross. Up, cross, cross it over, down. Legs go back. And I'm going a little bit more rapidly this set because my body's nice and warm, and yours should be too. I see I just felt like jumping back there. So this is the chance to go ahead and jump back if you feel like it, if you're feeling like you're moving faster. Just a little bit more. Really load the weight in those heels as you come back to your burpee. And last one. Woo! Awesome work, Rockstar. Okay, now we're gonna up the ante with those sumo squat split jumps. And they are gonna happen fast, and they're gonna be over super fast too. So here we go. Remember, it's a sumo squat. You can do the reverse lunges if you like, or you can make it high impact and do it fast. Squat jump right into a split squat. The goal here is to really keep your body upright as you move through all three of these moves together. That's what really activates your posterior chain, really gets your quads burning and your inner thighs too. And we don't compensate by using lower back muscles that we don't mean to be. Last one. Woo! All right, <laughs> felt that. All right, let's go ahead and grab your water bottles or weights. I felt like I was a little awkward on that first round with my kickbacks and curls. So I'm just gonna be that much more mindful. And that's like really, don't feel like you have to have everything so perfect. It's really okay. We're gonna come down into that chair set, find our core, we're gonna bend our elbows, we're gonna kick our arms back, we're gonna come up, do a curl. Down, kick our arms back, up, do that curl. Down, kick it back, up, curl. Pay attention to your core engagement here. Pay attention to how that feels in your triceps. Great job, you have five seconds to go here. Four, see there we go, I did it again. Three, two, one. Challenging my brain to do multiple things at once and it's learning new things. Okay, so go ahead and come on right up down to the mat. We're gonna do those roll ups to leg lifts. Up, reach for the toes, back, and bring your legs up. Roll up, reach for the toes, and back. Now if you did the workout with me a couple weeks ago where I was teaching you how to do reverse burpees, this is a great move to help build the strength in your core and condition you to do that kind of move. We're basically working on that rollback feeling, right? With your legs up straight. Last one. Perfect, great job. Okay, mountain climbers, here we go. Again, feel free to take the elevated mountain climber position on the side of your couch or box uh, to really help support you in this. I want you to feel supported, stable base, hands down, core tight, run those knees. It's just 30 seconds. You're doing awesome. Hold your core in tight. Hold your core in tight. You've got 
got this. Come on. Strong body. It's what you're here for. If you have a strong body, you're just getting stronger. Stronger every day. So close to the end. Last five, four, three, two, one. Woo! Stay down. We're gonna go right into those superwoman lifts. So I'm gonna flatten myself out on my mat. And I'm gonna try this time to keep my feet in closer together for more of a challenge. So lift and lower. Lift and lower. And remember what I said last time? You can draw your arms in to your sides each time and feel that squeeze your back. This is a great way to really add additional back work to your challenge. You're really working every part of your body with this workout. Last 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Oh, <laughs> so good, Rockstar. You are so close to the end of this. You have about six minutes left total of your workout, and I know we can do this. So, final move, our superset number two, the crescent kick or crescent knee. Here we go. Kick into it, come on. So, what are you working here? You're working your legs, because you have to stand in balance on one leg when you're doing the kick. You're working your hips, big time, and you're getting a major workout for your lower abs. Awesome job, last 15 seconds. You're almost done. Come on, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, last one. Woo! All right, last five minutes. We are coming up on the very end of this workout. Again, check in with yourself. How are you feeling? Maybe you want to stretch your chest. Maybe you want to grab a sip of water. Maybe you want to pause the video for a few minutes. It's all good. Listen to your body and just be here now. Be here, be present to your body. Feel what it feels. Take care of yourself. You deserve it. You got two seconds left. All right, here we go. Slow burpee with a cross cross. I'm doing the jump back for this round again because it feels so good. Let's go down and you can step back or jump back, your choice. In either case, we are really taking some things out of a burpee. We're not doing the push up. You're doing a lot of stuff balancing on your hands today, so I didn't feel like you needed it. Plus, you've got a bicep, tricep combo. So keep it up. So close. Last three, two, last one. Woo! So good. Okay, we're gonna do that sumo split squat jump. Last time. Last time through it. Catch your breath. Prepare. We are here to rock this. Ready, set, go. Squat, split, jump. Squat, split, jump. Remember, it's okay to take the lower impact version of this. You're gonna do great either way. Just keep moving, focus on that form, keep your body upright. Beautiful, focus on those glutes. They are getting one heck of a workout here. Last seven seconds, coming into the home stretch. Four, three, two, one, done. So good. Feeling it. <laughs> okay, last set of watching me awkwardly do chair sit kickbacks with a curl. <laughs> I think I'm just having a hard time explaining it and doing it. And it's allowing me to practice my full awesomeness, which I really like doing. So, pins down, butt tucks, core is engaged, elbows come in. Kick it back, up, curl, down. Kick it back, up, Curl down. Great job. So strong. You can do this. Back, curl, down, back, up, curl, down. We've got five seconds to go here. Come on. You can get all of this. All of this. Last one. Woo! Beautiful work. Join me down on the mat. We're going to get right into the roll up to leg lift. Here we go. Roll it all the way up, reach for your toes, come back, lift those legs. Reach for the toes, come back, lift the legs. Now on this one, I wanna invite you to try out this movement called the hollow rock from gymnastics, where you're basically just gonna combine those two moves that you learned, and you're just gonna try to balance between your lower back and your sit bones. 
without allowing your feet to touch the floor. So if you're done, stop. If you'd like to join me in just holding this and finding a balance point here, then it's challenging. You can try holding this for five more seconds. Three, two, one. All right, rock yourself forward. We're gonna get right into our last set of mountain climbers. Here it goes. We're starting right now. Hold your core in tight. Run those knees right up to your chest. Hands should be stacked just below your shoulders. Great job. Come on. You're already halfway done. Breathing. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Yes. That was tough, but we're tougher. All right, come on down. We're going to get into our superwoman lift final time. And again, I'm going to challenge you to keep your feet in close together for this one. And here we go. Lift slower. Now, if you'd like to add something just additional to this, you can bring your legs out and then in with each lift that you do. You'll feel that really activating your glutes. It's still working your lower back. If you're halfway through. You can also just work on what we started with. Just be where you're at. Let your body evolve as you get stronger. Good. Three, two, one. Oh, amazing. All right, let's move right into the crescent kicks. Come on up onto your feet. This is our final move. Let's make it count. This is what we showed up for today. You press, you press play on this for a reason. Here we go. And kick, kick, kick. Keep those hands up. Kick. And kick. Great work. Come on. You got this. You're so strong. You're a warrior. You're doing it. Kick. Kick. Really feel those abs working. Remember, it's okay to be doing the knees. Also awesome. Still getting the moves. Still getting the benefits. Last five. Four. Three. Two. Last. Woo! Last one. Your timer is complete. You rock that. Woo -hoo -hoo. Thank you so much for doing that with me. I'm super proud of you. What should you do now? You should definitely hydrate. You should stretch. Stretch yourself out. You could sit down while I'm talking to you right now and just start doing just a couple stretches, just one or two minutes of quick stretches after you've done that high intensity workout. It will be amazing for you. It'll feel really good and your body will be less sore afterwards. So hydrate, stretch, make sure that you are, have some good food planned for the day. Uh, it's just as important spending time to think about and prepare or have your food ready to go as it is doing your workout. It's actually a little bit more important when it comes to seeing your results. So I always say it's 80% nutrition, 20% exercise. Both things are really important, but in the four pillars that I have, nutrition is much higher on the list than exercise. They go sleep, nutrition, stress management, and exercise is the last one. They all are important, but it's just so important to be dialing in your nutrition. I'm so proud of you for doing your workout today. If you're like me, one of the best ways that I can manage stress is doing a quick workout. It really helps just get me totally present in my body. I feel amazing, so I feel like I kind of kill two birds with one stone with the workout. So that's what I love. I'd love to hear your thoughts and what does it for you, how you're feeling about your four pillars as well where you're at with your sleep, with your nutrition, with your stress management and your workout plan. Remember, I have plans available to help you really dial it in for yourself when it comes to your workouts, when it comes to nutrition. And for all the rest, I have Rock Your Life, my inner circle community where I can provide you with support, motivation and coaching as well as 30 day challenges. One that you can take every, a new one every month. You can take a new challenge every month that you want and have the community to support and motivate you, plus me and the Team Betty Rocker coaches to answer your questions and help you move along. Plus I teach a live class every single week uh, to help give you fresh workouts, to check in with you in person, and to just really be able to be there for you and to support you. So you can check all of those great things out if you're here on thebettyrocker.com. There are links on my programs page, and of course I'll put one at the end of this video for you as well. I am so glad that you joined me for this workout today. Thank you so much for being here. I can't wait to read your comments. And of course, I'm Betty Rocker. You are so awesome and amazing. And I'll see you again real soon. <laughs>